take a look here. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Orlando Mayorga, uh, managing agent here at the Millennial Liberator Virtual Fund Expense Agency. I just completed a uh, webinar here with a good bunch of folks that are looking into doing this virtually from their virtual office. And I wanted to kind of pick their brain on, on what they saw here today. So I'm going to start with Mrs. Taz. Taz, uh, what's your take? Talk to me. Good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, I believe you guys have a wonderful uh, program here. Uh, it definitely takes a lot of effort on the agent's side as well. Um, but I do see the synergy. The company is definitely um, here for you as long as you do your part, engaging the client, actually um, addressing the need and following through. And also follow up is very important. So learned a lot of aspects of the business that a lot of other companies never touch on, but are important. Well, Tess, thank you so much for that. Now, one thing that I wanted to ask you, because this is the biggest question that we ask everyone to join us on our live webinars. Based on everything that you witnessed here today, can you duplicate, can you honestly say, you know what, I can definitely duplicate what I saw here today? Definitely. Okay. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for that. I'm going to head over to Mr. Uh, Jason Shepard. I know you came a little, I don't know if you caught the winter of the beginning, but uh, what's your take on this, Mr. Shepard? Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I mean, as far as what I've seen, everything looks pretty, uh, pretty set up, Chris, and, uh, step-by-step -step take. Um, and so I, I mean, as far as the, the system goes, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty legit. I mean, you have everything set up, the scripts. Um, you definitely, I, I see that you definitely, definitely, uh, scripting is important. You have to know it. And so, but yes, I mean, it's, I mean, for what I, for what I've seen, I mean, you had everything pretty much laid out on how to, uh, engage the client. You had every objection. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, sales basics. And so definitely, I mean, it's, it's definitely legit. You know what, Jason, you, you brought a good point. You said that the script is important. And what I tell a lot of agents in our group is that we call it freedom within a framework, right? right. Jason cannot be Orlando. I can be Jason. I can be Tass. I can be Ted. I can be Timothy. I can be Vince. Vince is going to be Vince. But guess what, Vince? We have a framework for you to be Vince with, a, with, a, with an objectivity of making sure you're doing the best for your client. Like, for example, I don't know if you guys called that when I call the pharmacy, a lot of agents don't do that, right? Me, I, I, I say, you know what, whatever it takes. Oh, you don't have your medications. You know what, I need, the, I need those medications because I need to know what I can qualify with. Oh, I don't have it. No, no, no problem. We're going to call Walgreens, and Walgreens is going to help us out. What's up, right? So it's the alpha mentality because – Without having that alpha mentality, you're not going to go be successful, right? Everyone right. wants to be the 10, the 1% of the 1%, but what happens when it's, when you have to do the, what the 1% does, right? Like yeah. a lot of agents are there pushing. 92% of agents fail in this industry and only 1% make or 8% make, right? But it has to do with the training, right? This is right. a full transparency system. This is a systematic approach, right? And right. – you know, sometimes people come to our point and they say, man, I don't want to talk to Pete. I don't want to ask the health questions. I just want to get to the close and give me the next lead. Well, then you're <laughs> being an order taker. You're taking orders. How about be a professional and really hone in on your craft? I don't know if you guys heard of Grant Cardone, but Grant Cardone is a very uh, good, good, uh, good friend of ours. He actually opened our eyes to, to follow up. So if you look at the sales statistics, 2% of, of sales are made on the first contact. 3% of sales are made on the second contact and 5% of sales are made on the third contact. 10% of sales are made on the fourth contact and 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact. Now, a lot of agents out there, they don't do a follow-up, right? 48% of salespeople never follow up with a prospect. 25% of salespeople make a second contact and they stop. 12% of salespeople only make three contacts and they stop. And only 10% of salespeople make more than three contacts. So, you're going to be here a part of the 10% when it comes to follow-up. It's a relentless, relentless, relentless follow-up. And, you know, I appreciate you uh, highlighting that, Jason. I think that's very important. 
you know, scripting is good. A lot of agents that I hear that, I laugh. They're like, oh, I don't need a script. I shoot from the hip. <laughs> okay. All right, Mr. Badass. Okay, okay. Watch out now, right? You look at Hollywood. You're an actor. Why is Al Pacino making millions of dollars? Robert De Niro, Matthew McConaughey, um, Denzel Washington. Because when you watch a movie with Denzel, you're going to feel it. When yes. I watch Training Day, you're going to be like, God, Lee, Denzel, are you, are you, are you? Are you that type of cop, right? You feel it because guess what? They have a script <laughs> and they have to memorize it, right? Yeah, right. They have to memorize it. So in a way, we're not actors, but we have to be poised and composed and be able to project that energy on the phone. Did you see when I asked Mrs. F, Eva, what's your social, Eva? Boom. I got it like nothing. I got it like, here you go, son. Let's, let's, let's do this. We're going to get you in a row here today, Miss Eva, right? Do I get clients that tell me, well, I got to really think about it. Uh, I don't trust you. But we have the tools for you to overcome that with class, with diplomacy, and with the most important factor here, with an alpha mentality. Without, without being disrespectful to the clients, without being rude, without being too sally, without being too pushy. That Miss Eva is going to say, my goodness, this Jason Shepard, what a professional. I didn't really want to do this because I didn't want to tell him that I, I cannot afford it, but he was able to, to find a way for me to see it that I could afford it. He suggested that I go with this, this option. Boom, done. Let's grow. So good, good point on that. Let me move over here with Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Woods. Can you hear me? See if I can mute you, unmute you here. Yes, I can hear you. You as a veteran, Ms. Woods, what's your takeaway, man? And, and you don't have to take it easy on me. Be as brutal, as honest as you can possibly can. No, I actually We're big like boys the, over here. <laughs> I actually like the whole thing because you engaged her. She was trying to get away, but you brought her back and you show her that she could afford it. Correct. Without all the dilemmas that she was trying to throw at you, uh, that she have colonial pen, that she only could afford so much a month when she said the $65 was okay, you still stay within her budget. That way she will stay a potential client and not come back with that, oh, I can't afford it in the long run because you engaged her to the point and you gave her options. Absolutely. So let me ask you a question. You being a veteran in your own regard and you bring a lot of you know skills to the table, is this something that you can duplicate every single day, Monday to Friday oh. from the comfort of your home office and talk to granny Definitely. and grandpa all over the country? Definitely. Absolutely. All right, let's go over with Mr. Matt. I know Matt uh, brings a lot of value. Uh, Matt in New Mexico. How you doing, sir? Can you unmute your line, please? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, sir. You sound like a radio. You have like a radio voice, Matt. That's pretty good. Do I? <laughs> okay. Maybe it's, maybe it's your mic. <laughs> Tell me what mic you have so I can go buy it right now. <laughs> Talk to I me, Matt. Thought... What, what are you thinking, my good friend? Yeah, I really like the, the scripting and structure. Um, Obviously, the, the script is very important to follow, but just in having the basic structure of, okay, if they, if they um, give an objection, okay, then you need to go back to the beginning and find out what's really the concern and kind of open up their mind so you know how to help them and to find something that fits with them. Um, so I like that. And then um, just the... Um, just the overall, I guess, uh, reconfirmation of of building trust with her, so she knows she can trust you and give information to you that's going to be stay confidential. Exactly correct. Uh, you know, you you bring a good point there. The trust. You know how I don't know if you guys caught that, but when when you when you talk to a prospect and you let the prospect look, I'm here to, Matt, I'm here to provide you value. Uh, in the form of information. And she felt that because you're showing her the reality of what it is to be very, you show her what it costs to be very. So and that's a good point that you're bringing, man. So I appreciate you being here, sir. And hopefully we can definitely resonate with you. And I hope yeah. that I didn't kill your going out in the field because I know that this is something you're like, man, I'm going to have to get him. <laughs> so no, I, I, uh, <laughs> I really wanted to be on, be on this and see, cool. um, you know, how it works. So I'm glad to be here. Awesome, man. Awesome, man. Well, that's great. Let's move over to Mr. Mrs. Newby Joiner. Ms. Newby, what, what are your thoughts? And you've had some telesales experience in your past with different industries. What is your take on what you witnessed here today? Yes. Um, so I think that 
this the whole script idea uh, you know i always love scripts you know i never um, I'm, i was never a fan of duplicating or reinventing the wheel um i love that you guys have a strong structured script step by step and the rebuttals are like right there if she has any um you know any objections and i like that you you went the extra mile i um you know that i that does re remind me of how i i kind of am um when you literally called the pharmacy <laughs> the pharmacy and and they you know and they co and they really cooperated with you because of how you presented yourself um yeah so i i took from this you need to be persistent um you need to follow the structure you need to follow the program you cannot duplicate anything um you you can put your personality in it and kind of make it your own but don't reinvent the wheel so i feel like um staying with the script with the structure um and being persistent um I, I that's my main thing that i took from this you know what you hit the nail on the head and thank you so much for sharing that with all of us here yeah mm -hmm. you have to be persistent persistent to help her right the way that i look mm -hmm. at it every day that i wake up and i help these clients and, and, and this is the reason why i got into this business because you know, especially coming from an immigrant family, my family mm -hmm. didn't believe in life insurance. Recently, mm -hmm. I just saw my father a policy. He tells me, okay. no, if I buy a policy, I'm inviting death into my life. I'm like, That's dad, how my are, family you, are you serious? <laughs> I go, dad, dad, you're going to die one day. Dad, I love you, okay. but one day you're going to die. Right. And it, it is a shame that I'm, your, I'm an insurance yeah. agent and you're not buying a policy for me, dad. Let's Goodness. be real. Right? right, you 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 beat cancer, and you're you're telling me that you know what that? Mm -hmm. No, sit your butt down. We're gonna get <laughs> a policy today, mom. Come over here, give me his social. I imagine that right. my own father, my own dad, <laughs> my dad, right? Mine too. I sold it. I sold him. Sell him anything. You know, and that's the thing. You have to be the way that I look at it. Eva, I'm talking like if it's my grandmother. Grandma, mm -hmm. let's call the pharmacy, Granny. Let's mm -hmm. call the pharmacy. Let's see. <laughs> right. So, Right, so that's that's the basic mentality. Is that we're here to service the client. We're not here to hurt them. I don't know if you heard that. Exactly. I, I want to help you here today. My intent is to help you, and exactly. she feels it in that conviction. We're having a conversation. The only difference is that we're not face to face. You want to yep. see my face? I'll send you a video. No problem. Right. Right. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. But thank you for that, newbie. Now let's go over, Mister uh, Mister Ted. I want to hear from Ted because I know Ted has been very engaging. I saw your comments there. You put an amen comment. I don't know if you said amen that this is over or amen that I'm listening yeah. to this guy. <laughs> no. Talk to me, Ted. How you doing, said, sir? Well, you said something that uh, rang true, and so I said amen. <laughs> okay, good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. So talk to me, Ted. What's your take on all this? Talk to me. Tell me. Um, well, uh, you know, I like it. I, I think that, um, you know, you, you definitely demonstrated success. Um, and I really uh, enjoyed what you did when you, you know, clarified with Eva, um, you know, that really it, it almost always comes down to finances. And you got to get to that where it comes down to finances. And then if we can get them something that fits in their budget, then uh, they're going to go with it. Um, so I really liked that. Uh, it seems like a really long process from from where I'm coming from, uh, you know, because we're used to door knocking, get, you know, trying to get in in and out within a half hour. Yeah, because you want to get to the next house. It, it makes yeah. sense. You want to get to the next house. You don't want to spend a lot of time. But remember, you're in the you're in your virtual vehicle. You have nowhere right. to go. All you have to go is go to the restroom, go get a drink of water, sit on your desk, and provide value. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a different. It's a better different than, mindset. Uh, windshield time. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have screen time than windshield time any day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. So. Fantastic. So yeah. Um. The you know the the script is awesome, and really it's not difficult. Um. Because as I was watching your you know you follow the script. You know, you really hit a number of the parts, but you, you re-hit a number of the parts. So there's really not a lot of, uh, you know, extensive memorization. It's just you got to remember where you got to go back to if they object. Correct. Um, you know, so, it, yeah, it really makes sense. You know what, Ted? Thank you so much for uh, sharing that with us. And you know what? The script is important. Even though you have a script right in front of you, you have the framework right in front of you. 
it, it's very important also to memorize what you're saying because in your brain, you, you, you condition your brain to say, okay, if she tells me this, I'm going to say this. Right. And I got to say it in a different way that you don't want to sound also scripted. You want to sound very fluid with a lot of fluency or tone. Yeah, definitely. You emphasize you have to certain sound things. real. Yeah, exactly. You gotta. You want to sound conversation. You're, uh, you know, having a conversation with Mrs. Eva, and w- I want to be able to, you know, project that energy because sales is a transfer of energy, right? You don't want to sound too sally. You don't want to sound too scripty. You want to sound kind of like in between. You want to be very. Uh, it's an art form, right? It's an art. Form. It's like you're singing, right? You have all these singers that sing amazingly, or these poets that write beautiful poetries, or actors that act that you're like, my goodness, I felt that. Like I'm about to cry right now because. This guy just did an amazing little story over here. So I'm glad that you took that from that. I mean, you being a door knocker, uh, I was I'm a, I was a former door knocker. And I understand how, you know, I will go into a home. All right, let's get to the close because I got to get going. Traffic's going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I got eight appointments today, right? Right. <laughs> but let me ask you a question, Ted. You being that, is this something that you can duplicate, Ted? Do you see yourself doing something like this from the comfort of your home office? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Well, Ted, thank you again. By the way, you have an amazing voice on the phone. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're going to do really well with these clients because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for somebody that's confident. And when you have confidence in your voice and you have confidence in what you're saying, the clients will really feel that. And you're definitely going to make an impact on that. So I appreciate yeah. that. Thank yeah, you for thanks. being here. All right, let's move over with uh, Mr. Timothy Korf. Hopefully you can hear me, Tim. I know your mic was a little under the weather, but... Can you hear me, Tim? Can you unmute the mic? Tim? Uh, let's see here, Tim, Tim. Okay, I guess Tim, mic is not working. All right, last but not least are my good friend, Vince Vartolini. Hey, Vince, can you hear me? Yes. Can well, Vince, for, yeah, absolutely. For starters, man, thank you so good. much for being here. I, I know that you have a little mm-hmm. bit of experience doing this. Uh, Mm-hmm. Everyone, for the record, Vince is a as a musician. So you know, musicians are very, they are very artistic and very articulate, right? So I want to hear what Vince has to say. Awesome. So um, I just want to first say that I agree with all my peers, all the good things that they brought up. I myself am a new agent since last May, but I've been a telemarketing agent for a good decade or so. So I got into insurance sales because I was reading that it was going to be the wave by doing it over the telephone. So um, I'm fortunate enough to get in with one of the largest out there. Um, I must say this is a beautiful side of the coin. Uh, I, you, am, I am familiar with all the verbiage and everything that I heard. It's all a little different than the approach that we do. Um, but it was pretty amazing. It's all tied together. Um, phone sales is completely different from face to face, which is why I gravitate to the phone because of the way you can control a prospect. Uh, comes a lot through listening and everything I heard was just great leading. You led them well. Uh, I thought when those kids started screaming and barking and that uh, the <laughs> dog started barking that things right. were going to go sideways on you. But uh, you maintained discipline. You maintained your tone. You maintained your confidence. And uh, I'm blown away with the way that you guys take all the notes and go through the other uh, ways of going through the pharmacy and stuff. I'm in a situation where that's all automated for me. Um, so I was very impressed with that uh, ability to keep someone on the phone for that length of time without changing your your uh, your persona and in fact you sound a lot like when you're leading class so you're very natural on the phone but I see it as a very well put together oiled machine um, if done well and 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 can uh, maintain discipline and and keep the the script on track and not lose where you're going with it uh it's very good i i highly advise it that's awesome Viz. well listen man um definitely i mean i don't even know if i should ask you this but is this something that you can duplicate with our system i know it could be a little long-winded but um you know it's it's very calculated it's, a, it's a, like you said Absolutely. Um, if it was with a bait and switch lead like I'm used to, I would say that's going to be a challenge. But with these people, the way I heard them pre-qualified by those fine agents that uh, are those fine uh, with our company, they're called guides. But yeah, they reach out to the prospect and uh, you guys really verify all the information. I was pretty I was thinking if they give you all that information, you better be able to close that lead. <laughs> exactly. Ex- there you go. Amen, brother. That's the one I hear agents tell me, I couldn't close Vince. He was very rude. He didn't want to hear from me. 
I don't know. I highly doubt that. I need to know what happened there, right? Did you get affected? Or who you, who's selling who? Did he sell you that he couldn't talk to you? Or did you bought that you couldn't talk to him, right? So uh, I appreciate you, Vince. Uh, I, I think that you're definitely uh, bring a lot of value here for us. So we're definitely going to be talking. But before I, before I conclude this call here today, uh, we work a little different than other organizations. As you know, uh, we're not here to ask you for any money. We're only asking for your commitment, for your heart. If there's something that you definitely see yourself doing, then definitely we want to uh, have that conversation with my partner, myself, and yourself. But before that, what we do require for you to do is send us a video of intent. Get yourself on a video. Pull out your phone. I know this could be a little bit of a challenge, but I want to see Ted. I want to hear from Cass. I want to hear from Newbie from Matt and everyone on this call, tell me what you feel. Why would you think you'd be a good fit here for us, right? Hearing from you guys is great, but we want to see you. We want to feel your energy, okay? And if it's something that you can do, we'll definitely appreciate that. And if not, then you know what? We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for giving us an opportunity to showcase what we have to offer. And this is something that resonates with you. Definitely want to come on board with us and we'll definitely give you guys a shot, so. Thank you again for that, okay guys?